This is going to be a quick demonstration of ways to combine and expand shapes in Illustrator so that you get individual shapes rather than layers of shapes on top of each other. So um, if that doesn't quite make sense, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what I mean here. So I've got this shape. Um, it's pretty basic. It's two circles and lines. And supposing that I want to make like an icon or a logo, I might want each one of these sections to represent a different color. But right now I can go ahead and see in my layers panel over here that what I have on my artboard is one big blue circle, then I have one, and I can hide these elements to isolate them, so I have one big blue circle, one little white circle, and then two lines, and it tells me what they are over here in my layers panel. So this is not really what it appears. There's no way for me to change one section of the circle because it's actually just one big circle with other stuff layered on top of it. So this would look all right, but it's not really ideal for using as an icon or being able to change it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this so that it actually is how it appears as four sections of a circle um, with this cutout in the middle. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert my lines here to be um, shapes instead of lines. Right now they are have a stroke on them so they look wider than they are but the program sees it as just a thin you know a thin line rather than a shape um, that actually extends that width and you can see that by having this line that goes down the middle. So I'm going to go to object expand it'll bring up this I want to do both the fill and the stroke and when I do that now I have created two lines separately that exist here. And I can see that over in my layers panel as well. Um, here's my item. When you expand things, they automatically become groups. If you ungroup this, nothing's going to happen. It's, it's only a single item. Now I want to have uh, all this white part kind of breaking up my blue circle. So one way that I can do that is by selecting all these shapes and going to my um, Pathfinder tools, which you usually have to open by going to Window Pathfinder. This brings up this little panel. And this is how you can merge different shapes. So let's say I want to make all of these into one shape. Um, I can go ahead and do this compound shape thing. Another thing I could do is, I can do this a lot of different ways really. I can also have the blue circle be my base and I can subtract things from it using some of these exclude options. I could just divide everything and then start piecing them back together, which is honestly what I do sometimes if it's just kind of complicated and I don't know exactly how I want it to work out. For now I'm going to go ahead and do this um, compound shape option and now you can see that I have the the middle circle and these two cross lines have become one shape um, and you can see that here in my layers panel as well now it has now I just have that background circle and this top compound shape that has been fully merged there's no way to undo that unless I go back so that's one reason you might not want to pick that option there are other ways to do it as well I'm just going to show you whoops See if I can go back to how it was. So another way that I can do this is using the shape builder tool, which is fun. Um, so this allows me to sort of add and subtract different pieces of the items that I have selected. And so if I have them selected here, I can actually drag over this and select which pieces I want to be part of this shape. In this case, it's all of them. And, oh, I guess I missed the middle, um, so I can still add the middle as well if I want. And uh, now that's another way of, of doing exactly the same thing, of creating one shape out of those several shapes. Now that I have that done, what I want to do is cut this out of my bigger blue circle. In this case, I am going to just do this divide option. Um, one of these other options would probably work as well, but I think it's useful to see how that works. Now that's made everything into a group. So I have all these pieces, but you can see already in my layers panel that I've accomplished what I want, which is that each of the blue pieces is now separate. So I can actually delete that part. Whoops, I don't want to delete the whole thing yet. Whoops, I want to do object ungroup. Now I can change each thing separately. I can delete that. And now I can change each piece of the blue circle 
all the way and I might say, hey, this looks great, I'm done. But let's check one thing. It seems like we probably have some extra shapes that we don't need. You can do Command or Control Y to view the items on your artboard, which is neat. Um, so what I have are these sort of lingering artifacts around the edges, and you can see them delete disappearing in my um, layers panel as well. I can go back the same way. That's just a different view. It doesn't change your art. The other way I can select them is down here in my layers panel. If I click on that little side, I can select that piece that I know is extra and delete it. And now I can see in my layers panel that I have exactly those four pieces representing the different parts of my circle. And I could change the colors individually like I wanted to at the beginning.